Hey, what's up, everybody? Chasta here at Soundwaves TV, and I am so excited to have my friend, I feel like family, honestly, Jared Harper in Absolutely. the studio with me. I know your whole family. That's why I say that. And I adore, I adore yeah. your whole family. It's funny because I I can't remember. I feel like I've known you guys forever now, um, but I can't remember who I met first. Did I meet your parents first? And then they introduced me to you. Do you remember? I have no, I think, I think maybe we got introduced first. Yeah. And then I started working with them with Harper for Kids during COVID. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is okay. what happened. Yeah. Because I'm, I met your sound guy. Yeah. Dennis. Yes. Yes. Um, and we worked on a great couple projects. I think we met in like an art gallery gig. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's right. And yeah, it was so random, but it was like so quick, so easy. Yeah. Um, and Casey and I love, my manager love just meeting with people that are just like, kind of like us. Yeah. It's like so easy to yeah. get with. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and then I think he connected us. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's I right. Yeah, but I have a terrible memory. Your whole but. family. Okay, so let's just. I'm going to do a family tree situation <laughs> oh, no, because yeah. it's important. I mean, mm-hmm. first of all, you've got Jared Harper, who is modern day James <laughs> Dean look alike, wow. and, and okay. the soul cool. and cool. embodiment of Elvis Presley to wow. start. But we'll add to that later. We'll get now to you're that. Digging me down. <laughs> How can I live up to that? We have your oh manager God. and sister, yeah. and I love that part, Casey mm-hmm. Harper, who is freaking doll. Love her so much. <laughs> she's all right. And then and she's all right. Yeah. She's all right. And then your parents, Peanut and Tim, who are amazing humans, and they run Harper for Kids. Look it up. An amazing organization that really helps teach children really great founding blocks of and they gave a book to my son. Uh, their poster oh, yes. uh, of their foundation is on his wall. So I yeah, we're yeah. we're big fans of the Harper family hey, in on, our household. You guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's go back to you. Mm-hmm. We met Please. several years ago, and what was so cool is when we stumbled upon you, it was immediate. We were like, oh, this is a this is one of them. This is a guy that's going to the stars. This is someone we get to like meet as a baby. A, a, a baby yeah, artist, right? right? Yeah, I got and then watch the whole rocket thing happen. And it's happening. I will tell you, and you're going to think I'm full of it, and it's so pretty cheesy. It. When I saw you're on the Bottle Rock poster, I like cried. I was so oh excited. I was like, Pearl Jam, Stevie Nicks, Jared <laughs> Arbor! <laughs> I was so I was so excited because yeah. that's such a major deal. So if you're watching from outside the Bay Area, Bottle Rock Festival is one of the biggest festivals we have in all of Northern California. Well, all of California, really. Um, and, and it's a beautiful art and wine festival with great music, multiple stages. And it, it's definitely a goal. Was oh Bottle God. Rock a goal? Was that a target specifically on the wall for you? Yes. Actually, my... Yeah, so I initially got into music because i love performing but music festivals were my like Mm -hmm. that's my goal Mm -hmm. like if i can get on anyone Mm -hmm. but casey and i talk about this all the time where it's like um initially you're you kind of just hope for like an entry level like festival not like one of the starting at the top oh my god yeah (laughs) Yeah, i know really um uh, and i've also like we've I've grown up, we both grew up like going to this festival. Like, yeah. We've seen so many people. Yeah. And by the way, just like a super side note, it might be random, but I saw Miley Cyrus. She took me to Miley Cyrus. Uh-huh. I've never listened to her in my life. Uh-huh. I mean, I have a little bit, yeah. but I went to her show at Bottle Rock. Yeah. One of the, I was there. I don't know, yeah. Yeah. Blew my socks off. Oh, she's incredible. Yeah. And, incredible. And so good. Yeah. Um, But that it was just like such a great feeling. Like the festival is such a cool vibe. Yeah. Um, It's so like laid back, but people are there to like party and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, I never, I mean, I would hope at some point I would be performing it. Yeah. Um, I just didn't think it'd be like my first music festival. I so. knew, I knew I, I ran yeah, in, yep. Okay, I yeah. ran into you and Casey backstage last year at Bottle Rock. Right. Yeah. And as soon as I saw you backstage, I thought Casey's working it <laughs> yeah. and it, and it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah no, it's right. going to happen, which is why I think I picked your name up so quickly when I saw that poster. Cause I, I expected it. Like, yeah intuition i knew you were you were yeah. gonna be there yeah, it's it's a so. it's a great festival but truly it does i feel like it really does match your style which is that i'm gonna have a glass of wine i'm gonna lay back i'm gonna kick my feet up i'm gonna groove it because you're all vibes and that that festival in particular is really that yeah i yeah. mean do you feel like like because you've done bar gigs you've done festivals like smaller smaller festivals you've done like the wine and cheese moment you've done like you everything know, you everything can imagine sticky floors <laughs> yeah everything yeah where do you feel like you groove the best out of all of those platforms and all those places i mean you've done corporate events you've done all yeah, kinds of stuff that's true yeah weddings too weddings and weddings was such an interesting one because 
they give you i mean it's such a great gig yeah. when you're like um when you're just grinding out like you know and still like trying to find like how you fit in and like live scenes and stuff yeah and it's like how do you communicate with people and uh-huh. at weddings it's so personable uh-huh. whereas like a show might not be because mm-hmm. you have to like you kind of have to force the personal part for sure yeah yeah, yeah. and sometimes it's like you're talking to yourself yeah. on like a stage yeah you know yeah um i think well i think you kind of said it well and it's so funny because it's like I hadn't spent this much time in Napa. I spent probably like the last three or four years in Napa yeah. performing yeah. everywhere. Um, and I never thought that would be my vibe, yeah. but it's, so, yeah, I, it, it just, just clicks, works, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's weird. Cause I had this moment where I'm like, um, you like, you kind of want to go a certain way mm-hmm. with like, either it's like your career or your life or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, life takes you kind of like it starts nudging you a different way yeah. not that you necessarily think that's like the road you want to go down yeah. but then like bottle rock came up and i was like okay well i think that's probably like the more obvious like nudge that yeah. maybe i should like lean into this a little bit more yeah i think bottle rock's definitely a little bit more my vibe because yeah. i love just like i mean not, i don't think anybody likes being in a like at a show with like kind Sticky of like floors. Yeah, yeah, yeah i'm glad i'm kind of past that you know <laughs> I, that, there is a charm to it, yeah, I mean, you know. That's yeah, kind. Of, yeah. I probably will end up missing that a little bit. But, <laughs> you can uh, always go back to that. I can, yeah, you can yeah. always do the pop-up That's true. Shows, I you could. Know, don't worry about I that. could. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it just feel like I like being in environments where I'm allowed to be like allowed to like make other people happy too yeah. you know like that's kind of like the reason why you go into it performing music because people love watching it mm-hmm. um so yeah i think that I th- yeah i think you Gosh, said it well. at, a, at a wedding you are part of somebody's most important day oh my god tell me about it yeah i mean that's pressure yeah obviously sure um, yeah. but you know what you're doing so you don't have to stress there. <laughs> yeah but yeah. like to be a part of that must feel pr- again personal or almost magical for sure yeah. yeah there was um yeah there have been a couple moments where i'm like because I'm a, there's always that thought as a musician you're like like what am I doing yeah. especially at night you know right. what I mean oh yeah of course like as a grinding artist you're just kind of like you know like you do your shows you have a great day have a great show and you're like god that's why I do it and then you have like kind of those off days where you're like even if you're like looking to like record music or like live videos you have that kind of down and it's like what, why should I have stayed in like college or yeah. something like I only spent two weeks in college and I'm like is that like what I should have done should I gone like, down that path yeah, yeah 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 but then there are those like great reminders when you're playing like I mean it could be something as small as like a wedding or like even like play, like I've played in front of like nobody before two people hundreds of people mil- you know you need to do that though to cut your teeth and to really like I think so yeah to yeah. have those like badges of honor yeah <laughs> that yeah. you wear no, exactly you know? yeah and you can wear them so proudly yeah. you know yeah. I don't know I mean there's a well yeah i don't know if i want to like i'm not like calling anybody out but i feel like sometimes you can see that in like an artist Absolutely. when they you know it's yeah i don't know you need I wear to earn pro- it yeah and you've earned it you know you're you're and you're continually earning it you know i mean i i would say casey she's on the other side of the camera <laughs> uh, another festival i see you on immediately is ohana fest do you know that one absolutely yeah that one oh, you again kidding me? That, yeah. that's that's the jam oh. and you're playing on bottle rock where Pearl Jam is playing and Ohana Fest yep. is Eddie Vedder's That's baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so absolutely. it feels like a natural. Yeah. So Casey, get on that. You're probably already that on that. Be, I mean, yeah, she's on no. that. She's like, oh, bitch, I'm way doing. ahead of you. Yeah, behind, <laughs> I, behind me, I don't know what goes on. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, that whole bottle rock thing. Maybe she was. Yeah, she, I was wondering why she was talking so she much. Know, she knows what she's doing. Yeah, yeah. So I want to bring that up, and I, I don't know that you've talked about that a whole lot, but your sister being your manager. I, for one, think is the coolest thing. Because if family's not going to fight for you in the best way, then who will? I guess it could go either way. They're either going to, you know, fight for you really hard or it could be demonstrously bad. Yeah, no, and (laughs) you hear stories. You do. You do, You do, but you guys remind me of... Like the the Phineas and Billie Eilish situation. Now, granted, they write and perform together. Yeah. But you're the performer, and she does literally everything. She's the your magic. manager slash all the things. That's I think that's <laughs> yeah, on. That's, a, yeah. I think that's on the business. That's on the business card. card. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. On it. yeah. So, like, get real with me for a second. Yeah. How is that dynamic? Because at the end of the day, you're brother sister. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm so, pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We still argue and stuff. Yeah. So I think that keeps it real. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know it. Thankfully, it was another thing that came naturally. Yeah. Um, it's not something you think, like having a manager, an agent, mm-hmm. not something when you're like coming up as an artist, you're not really thinking about that. You're right. just like, how do I sell myself for gigs and stuff? Yeah. Um, and then thankfully, it, it was just kind of like her and my mom were booking me these like like art show gigs. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and I think it just Casey just kind of started taking the reins a little bit more and she started reaching out to other venues and then all of a sudden the venues got bigger yep um, but yeah with the everything part Casey does do like I mean a manager I don't think like an agent usually does that yeah, right yeah um, and then she like like editing videos, photos. I mean, she's my cameraman sometimes. Yeah, like, most of the times. I'm actually. sure. Yeah. Um, stylist. Stylist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I ever need makeup, yeah, you know, whatever absolutely. it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting dynamic because it's like we obviously like grew up in the same room. Mm -hmm. Like we've we. You like, really are other... Billy and Phineas. That's yeah, amazing. I, know, I, know. Right, <laughs> I love right, right, it. Right. That's great. Um, and went to like the same school growing up. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's I don't think I could do it yeah. I'm not sure about her I don't think she can either but like separating that business and like sibling relationship I think it's probably impossible I, yeah and yeah. I don't think it should be like that I, I mean agree. we do kind of cut the like when we're like in, like this morning we with like bottle rock and all this stuff and yeah. all the things we have to get prepared and all these projects it's like we do sit down and we're like we're only talking business right now yeah. but i mean some of that sibling stuff still fills in you sure. know what i mean so yeah. it's like i think it's we, very natural yeah 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 so i i mean but you know she always has your best interest yes uh -huh. yeah and, and that's I mean, what you can lean back yeah, on. yeah 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 and it's it's weird because i think i'm very anal analytical yeah. with everything so yeah. i think all the time um but it's like sometimes you you hear these stories of like other agents you kind of like brought it up a little bit yeah but, um you know, like sometimes it goes like for the worst. Even mm -hmm. like I've heard stories about siblings being like manager artist duo, and it's still good. So I'm super grateful that she's you know who she is. Yeah, you know, that I can well, trust and you her. guys are a tight knit family. You know, super, it, you, yeah. I, I, it was very apparent to me when I met all of you how close knit you are and how real you are and and loving and it's such a great warm environment. It yeah. comes across very very quickly. That's very sweet of you to say. Well, Thank it's you. the truth. Yeah. Uh, let's do some manifestation. Let's uh, so we get past Bottle Rock. And yeah. it's a wild success. We know that. <laughs> yeah. um, you could pick anyone to go on tour with. Who are you picking? Oh like my just God. shoot for the stars. The impossible question. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, I would love to. We're, go. I mean, the universe so many listens. But you know, yeah, yeah. You know? And oh, if God. you're watching, whoever he says, you can like tag over and over and know, over and over and over again, to, yeah. and then they'll see it <laughs> and they'll be like, "Perfect, Jared Harper, <laughs> yeah. come on tour with us." So let's manifest. Oh Who is it? I would. And it doesn't have to just be one. Sure. I would probably maybe say The Strokes. I Good love choice. The Strokes so much. Yeah. Um, who doesn't? Right. Um, but they're also, that's probably one of the best shows I've yeah. ever been oh, on. Yeah. Um, and it's a great fit, too. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, they're a heavy influence on me, yeah. anyways. Yeah. Um, them and the Arctic Monkeys kind of go hand to hand that's for some funny. reason. It's I don't... funny. That's the second interview in the last two weeks I've heard Arctic Monkeys. Really? They keep coming back around. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. They, well, them and the Strokes, for some reason, I don't know what the lore is yeah. with those two bands, yeah. but for some reason, they're always in like the same boat with like fans and stuff. I like a co headlining Arctic Monkeys Strokes uh, tour supported by Jared Harper. That, I would, yeah. Let's make that happen. Come on. Big man Universe, upstairs or whatever. Listening. Who's That's yeah? Right. Whoever's up there, I don't know. You throw it out, <laughs> yeah. man. You you do amazing yeah. things yeah. happen yeah. when you you put it out there and yeah. you believe that you can do it. Well, this and you marks can. it. That's this right. It. Yeah. Well, I'm obviously thrilled. I, I'm so excited to see you at Bottle Rock. Uh, so make sure if you're going to Bottle Rock, look for Jared. Which day are you on? Remind me. I'm there all Sunday. the days. Sunday, you're on Sunday, twenty six. Yes. Sunday. You know the same day. Queens the Stone Yeah, you're Age, there. And the yeah. Offspring <laughs> and Jared. <laughs> Hey, I'm there. I'm there. Love yeah. Uh, how do you get yourself pumped up for a stage like that? No, I'm not. I'm not trying to make you nervous. I'm just curious. Oh, I'm so nervous like, right do you now. Go in Anyways, talking to you. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I usually like blacking out right before I get on Perfect. and then not remember a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Welcome right, to my world. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember any of this actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, that's a true story half the time I say to Dennis he's like oh yeah I remember when you said that I was like mm, no yeah no I'm but I'll be. trust you <laughs> I'm sure it was fine yeah, yeah for we'll sure, hope, for, we'll sure. Hope, for, we'll hope for the best <laughs> exactly that's my motto well, yeah I will be standing side stage I hope with Casey watching Absolutely. you at Bottle yeah. Rock probably both of us will be crying I don't know yeah, <laughs> yeah no. God can you believe it oh, that's our guy God, yeah. little baby is yeah. all grown up <laughs> yeah. all right find him Jared Harper very easily online where do you hang on socially most often what's your like favorite platform instagram and tiktok seem to be like my most dominant yeah. social media yeah, yeah. Those so are the, jt those are harps for okay those are awesome i'm so proud of you this is Thank so rad so all right oh we'll God, be right yeah. back look up jared harper you're watching soundwaves tv <laughs>